could actually treat disease from the inside out rather than the outside in. Interventional radiology was born from innovation. And you have one of those aha moments. It changed the whole way we started to think about this. There's no limit to what we can do. We feel a little bit like the masters of small things, doing major surgical things through tiny holes. This is the future. When I have patients, they say they're ready for their surgery, and I tell them, you're not gonna have surgery today, you're gonna have a procedure. We don't cut people open. We make a tiny pinhole. We use the body's natural pathways, the artery, the vein. We can thread our tools, our catheters, to the area that's diseased. Charles Dotter, who was at the University of Oregon, had that moment that light bulb moment where he went, you know, we can actually fix something rather than just take pictures. He realized you could actually do something once you get in there. He was very intense, and once he believed in that idea, he believed in it. It's just a huge legacy that has spilled into so many other procedures and specialties. trying to prevent a foot amputation, a below the knee amputation, or even an above the knee amputation. The hope that I have that's gonna work for my mom not to lose her foot because she's very active. She, she's, she's very independent, so saving her foot, you know, it means everything. That's, that's life to her. The danger is that infection will ascend the leg rapidly. It could happen in 24 hours. If you don't have enough oxygen, bacteria can just flow up your leg. And then, then it becomes an emergency amputation. There's no chance to save the limb. One of the great things about interventional radiology is that we cover the whole body it was only a matter of where you can imagine you could put a catheter or where you can imagine you can put a balloon or a, whatever you want to do. Those are the really small vessels in the foot and we're hoping to get into the main one. You can go into the brain, you can go into the heart, you can go into the kidney, you can go into the liver. Mr. Abeta, Lorenzo Abeta, is going to be our first patient in room one. You don't get a phone call from the doctor unless, you know, it's some kind of news. And I heard him say, so you know it's cancer. And then I guess the doctor said yes. We performed an MRI scan of the liver. That's where we found that he had these two dominant tumors, one on the right and one on the left. I had just lost my best friend a couple of months previous to that with the liver cancer. So I would quite honestly was very scared and thought, well, I'm not going to be living too much longer, I don't think. Did you gain any weight or lose any weight? About the same. About the same. Yeah. Good. How's your appetite? My appetite's been good. Many different cancers can be treated by interventional technologies. Basically what it involves is the application of cancer-killing medicines or radiation in a way that is very focused so that the rest of the body is not exposed to any of these toxic substances. What is the consent situation on the patient for this afternoon? I see patients who've seen 16 different physicians who've told them there's nothing that can be done and, um, and then when you fix them it's just really extremely rewarding. These main veins in my legs have been blocked or compressed or restricted my whole life. I've had circulation problems and I'm on blood thinners. So we just got married and you know we're starting to eventually think about babies. And 
I've had a couple of people say to me like, oh, have you found a doctor who will take you on yet? Because it's kind of risky. Um, you have to adopt or do something like that. Awesome, there's other stuff we can do, but you know, to think that there is something that could really potentially help would be uh, fantastic, so. That's worse than I was expecting, but that's okay. All right. We're 99% of the way connected, and we have 1% more to connect, and I've spent the last hour and a half trying to connect the last 1%. And whether we can fix this or not all rides on whether we can connect these two dots that are right next to each other, and so far, we haven't figured out how to do it, but we're working really hard on trying. So she's doing great. They're just waking her up now, and uh, we were very successful. I now have the privilege and honor to address the new citizens. My mom, within a week, she had the procedure. She became a citizen. You know, she has the hope of walking again. So we have great expectations and hopes for the for the rest of the year. I'm not dying of cancer. I'm living with cancer like that, and I'm going to continue to live with it until they knock it out.